I see rainbows in my dreams Fields of gold and leaves of green Rich red skies as day turns night But when I wake the world is only white White, white, only white Brr. Perhaps I am getting old that I start to feel the cold All these flurries, falls and frost They come at quite a cost I dance and I bring snow The world turns white wherever I go On the seasons change and then I must always start my dance again Mile on mile on day on day Colors washed and drained away Crystal cord and blinding bright Hill to valley, hill to mountain white White, white, only white A forest dwelling human. <laughs> there hasn't been one of those in these parts since the Stone Age. So the story goes, straying so close to my home. <laughs> oh, but I'm right fed up though. Fed up with winter, fed up with sleet and snow. I'm needed and I'm jiggered and I need an holiday. I mean, honestly, look at me. My father, would be ashamed. You know, he drove a gritty lorry all his working life, ah. Huh? Wanted nothing more than for me to follow in his tyre tracks. And what happened? I'm a snow dancer. He'd be turning in his grave. It all started back in that hard winter of 1963. I was right up on the tops, just west of Scotch Corner in my snow plough. When out of nowhere comes this massive air. So I swerve to avoid it and end up head first in a snowdrift the size of an house. I thought I would have gone for sure. But this fella springs up out of nowhere. Here, friend, he says, you look perished. Put this coat on. And that's all it took to be plunged into a world of wintry whiteness, a life without colour, forever. That's the bald friend, he says, that will keep you warm. But only later I realised that the more I danced, the more it snowed. That was his job, you see, snow dancer. And somehow he tricked me into taking over. Well, now I'm sick of it and it's my turn to pass it on. If only I can find somebody daft enough to do it. Maybe this one could be the next snow dancer. Ha <laughs> ha! Costa del Sol, package door. Here I come! Ha <laughs> ha Hang on. Who goes there? Oh. King of the forest. There was once a time when your red coat was a welcome bloom of colour in my black and white world. But today, you can keep your pointy meddling nose out of my business. Give a voice to every woodland creature with your magic if you dare. But I shall hear none of them. King of the forest, as you well know, though I did not choose the life of snow, for once for frost, I was wide-eyed and eager. Now I'd rather be sunning myself in Antigua. So I shall persuade some other chancer to release me from the life of Snow Dancer. Well, there's no you can do to stop me.
Misty, I know you're in there. Can you just come out, please, so we can go home? Do it for a biscuit. Two biscuits. Hobnobs. Yeah, proper ones, not the cheap Aldi kind. Oh, Misty, just come out, will you? You're making me miss Spock's birthday movie marathon. It's all his favourite Star Trek films, back to back. Mum would kill me if I came back without you. Yeah, I can already hear her now. OK, Sol, I know you can lose a TV remote or your school tie or a football kit, but how can you lose a dog? Misty, it's going to be dark soon. Just come out, please. You better not put up to any funny business in there. If you think I'm coming in after you with a poop bag, then you can think again. This wood goes on forever. Hang on. Where am I? I don't know where I am. Am I lost? Right, that's it. Misty, get out here right now. This is your final warning. What was that? Uh, okay, I, I don't know why I said the final warning thing. It doesn't work on me either. It's just, it's getting dark. I'm fed up and I don't know which way is home. It is that way, of course, imbecile. <gasps> Who said that? Okay, so now I'm in an ancient woodland at nightfall and now I'm hearing voices. Come, come on, it's not, it's not Halloween, it's nearly Christmas. Which, and now I'm talking to myself. Which, as they say, is a first sign of madness. Magnifique. Who said that? Misty! There you are. Please get yourself out of that bush. Come on. Come on. Why do you never do anything I ask? Because you are a nincompoop. <laughs> Did you hear that? Someone just, someone just called me a nincompoop. Why would they do that? Because you are a nincompoop. There it was again. This is nuts. A nincompoop holding a nincompoop bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, uh, whoever it is, it's not very funny, is it? Is it? Okay. So I thought I was going mad, yeah, hearing voices. But now I don't think I am because you can hear it too, right? Yeah. But because you're a dog. And I am asking you on your opinion on whether I'm going bonkers. That's officially bonkers, right? Yeah. It's almost like you can understand every word I'm saying. Bah oui. Ah! <laughs> Naturellement, mon petit sac de poop. <laughs> English is my fifth language. And yet, quel surprise, I am superb at it. Okay, those blackberries must have <laughs> fermented or something because in my head it's definitely sounded like you can talk. Bah oui, bien sûr. In French. But naturally, it is the native bark of the house of Champignon, the ancestral home in the south of France of the royal Marquis de Pompadour and a most famous Pompadour poodle doodles. The what? I am Princess Mirabel de Pompadoodle the Third. Huh, Princess, well, that explains everything. You may kneel. I may what? You may kneel before me and I shall accept you as one of my subjects. Okay, this is officially weirder than Spock going back in time and meeting himself. I must be going bananas. Idiot, we do not have time <laughs> for your bananas. Something most strange is occurring in the Great Wood tonight. You're telling me. It is many a lifetime since I have heard the spirit's call. <gasps> My brothers may be here already. Brothers? You, you don't have any brothers, do you? Some grand event is happening here and we must find out what. Attends! Uh, will someone just beam me up right now? Misty, get back here right now or I'll wring your pompous pompadoodle poodle doodle neck! Will you please just Keep the noise down. Where did you materialise from? Oh, I was trying to get some sleep. Oh. The squirrels kept me up all night playing conkers on the tent. Uh, are you camping here? Might be. 
Oh, um, did you hear all that then, me talking before? Oh, just a bit about you wanting to wring someone's neck. Oh, uh, you heard that? Uh, uh, I wasn't serious and she, she doesn't listen to me anyway. Who? There's no one else here. Oh, Princess Mirabelle the Pompadoodle the Third. Uh, she's my dog. That's her name. Oh, no, I, I didn't name her that. I mean, <laughs> no way. I mean, who would? <laughs> right. But I have an awful feeling she's going to make me call her that from, from now on. Right. So I should I'd probably go look for her, right? Right, yeah. I'm Sol, by the way. Aurora? You don't say much, do you? Not really. Well, if you see a poodle point across about uh, yay high with a superiority complex and a pretentious French accent, um, will you send him away? See you then. To boldly go where no Sol has gone before. Misty! Misty, where are you? Ah! You know what? Nature's not all it's cracked up to be. Peace at last. Fred, you can come out now. I've got some food you can share. They're Nana's ham and pickle sandwiches. <gasps> all right. You got me. It's not really ham. It's not ham. You know, no pigs were harmed in the making of this sandwich. Can't tempt you? Okay then, your loss. Mm. Look. So get your nose right in the end. Not too bad if I say so myself. <coughs> It's a beautiful evening, Red. The weather shouldn't be like this. It's almost Christmas. But the seasons are all over the place and no one seems to know how to put it right. So it might look beautiful, Red, but it's all wrong. Your words are wise, Aurora of the tent. Wise and yet sad. <laughs> What did Nana put in those not ham sandwiches? Who knows? But at least we can be certain it was not ham. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. You must find the snow dancer, Aurora of the tent, and bring back the snow. Right, so you're a talking fox now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, what? I mean, how? Why? You see, long ago, in a world before time, there were four spirit dances, children, if you like, of the north wind. Look, the light aurora. There were four spirit dances, and each had the power to change the seasons when they danced upon the earth. The flower dancer. Spring. She was the youngest, the most impulsive and reckless. The sun dancer. Summer. Who always craved warmth and light. The leaf dancer. Um, autumn. King of the forest. And of course, the snow dancer. Winter, I get it. And for thousands of years, they played happily, as if brother and sister, taking it in turns to guide the sacred earth through its year-long journey. But there were some animals who thought themselves above the journey of the seasons. Humans. Hmm. And they would not listen when the dancers called. They craved our power to bend the seasons to their will. But our father had warned us that humans could not be trusted with the sacred dances. So the dancers retreated and were almost forgotten. Almost. So. What happened to them? Three gave up their power to dance and in doing so took on the shape of an animal. The snow dancer is now much changed, but he alone remembers the dance of the snow. Well then, where is he? We could do with him. He is hiding somewhere in this very wood. Here somewhere? Then why doesn't he just get on with it and make mm. it snow? I have tried to remind him that as the last of our family, he has a huge responsibility 
Your family? I was once the leaf dancer, Aurora. It was I who proposed we should retire and let nature run its course. But on the night we all agreed to change forever, we argued. So is that why the weather's all over the place? The problem was we were each, each, the problem was we were selfish. Each of us thought ourselves more important than the others. But we need all of the seasons just at the right place at the right time. Exactly so, Aurora. But the king of winter could never resist a chance to show off his power and strength. He was tricked that night and his actions have led to all manner of worries. But I have spoken too long. There is no time to lose. Our woodland world hangs in the balance. Come now, I must away. Your journey begins. I can't just leave all my stuff here. Can't you just slow down and wait for me? It's all right, Aurora. It's just a talking fox. Who wants you to save the world? Yeah, sure, why not? No big deal. What happened to you? Oh, you should see the other guy. Oh, no, seriously, it's just trees. They're out to get me. So, um, who's saving the world? I am. You heard that? Oh, just what you said now. Well, you wouldn't get it. Uh, I might. You wouldn't. Well, I, I might surprise you. Okay, you really want to know? Mm -hmm. I have to find the snow dancer, whoever he is, and persuade him to dance so that all the animals who sleep here can get some sleep. And I, and I know I have to do this because I was just given strict instructions by a talking fox named Red, and I didn't even know if that's his name, but that's what I call him, and Brilliant. he didn't... That's not the reaction I was expecting. <gasps> talking fox! <laughs> of course it is! Brilliant! Because I don't know what's going on in here today, but whatever it is, it's happening to you too. And that means I'm not losing my marbles after all! <laughs> or, or if I am, we both are. Which, although it shouldn't do, makes me feel better somehow. Wait, he, he spoke to you too? Oh no, just the pompous pompadoodle poodle doodle dog thing. You don't even know the name of your own dog. Uh, you don't even know the name of your own fox? He's not my fox, he's just A the... talking animal who said you want a quest. Hey, it's important. The seasons haven't changed this year and the snow dancer can bring the snow. Like Mr. Freeze! <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, but for real. I told you you wouldn't get it. So where does he live then, this magic snow dancer? Mm, I don't know, here somewhere. Oh, why don't you just Google him on your phone? I don't have a phone. How can you not have a phone? How are you even alive? Alright, I do have a phone, just not in the way you mean. All it does is make calls and I'm down to my last credit. Wow, that totally sucks. That's well, totally all I can afford. Right, I'll Google him then. He's bound to be on Instagram or YouTube. He's supposed to be older than recorded time. I don't think he's going to be a YouTuber. Everyone's on YouTube! Oh, there's no signal! Oh, this is ridiculous! Seek the beauty of the falling snow, the icy turns and the do -si do Have glittering snow in the palm of your hand and freezing icicles at your command. Ride on the back of the cold north wind and to this land its winter brings. <sighs> what was all that with you in the spooky voice? Ride on the back of the cold north wind and to this land it's winter bring. Which means that I'm gonna go this way. Why? Because that's north. How, how, how can you tell? From the angle of the light. Oh, well, it's a shame you can't see the stars. You could navigate using them, you know, like the sailors of old or, or Jean Luc and the navigation array would sit on the Enterprise. <laughs> Make it so. Or Captain Pugwash, we could just follow the signs this way. Or you could. Follow this mysterious sign that says this way, but this way to what? Aurora? Aurora, away from me! Oh, I'm starting to feel like the unnamed Star Trek officer who's always the first one to be bitten by the Manarian spinach monster. Aurora, do you mind if I just cling on to you for a while? Nuts! 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 Crack a few open and fill up your guts. You can salt them or roast them, but take it from me. The best way is the fresh way, straight off a tree. If you know where to look, you can get it for free. We're just nuts about nuts. When 
Adam and Eve stood in the Garden of Eden. Adam said, Evie, let's celebrate freedom. He handed her an apple, but she wasn't fussed. She said, stop your apple, just give me some nuts. I want nuts, 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 nuts. For starters and mains, desserts and cold cuts. You can salt them or roast them, but take it from me. The best way is the fresh way, straight off a tree. If you know where to look, you can get them for free. We're just nuts about nuts. By the banks of the Nile, there stood Cleopatra. She said to Mark Antony, I know what you're after. I got treasures and trophies to rival King Tut's. If you want to impress me, just give me some nuts. I want nuts. Nuts, 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 nuts. For starters and mains, desserts and cold cuts. You can salt them or roast them, but take it from me. The best way is the fresh way, straight off a tree. If you know where to look, you can get them for free. We're just nuts about nuts. Hey, what are we doing then? We're counting my conquer collection. Oh, count it, Uni. Easy as falling off a lot. Was close. So, um, what do I do? Oh, right. You go look for any conkers lying around anywhere. Bring them to me, and I'll count them too. Got it? Got it. Good. Uh, one. Oh, I found one. Two. Oh, a bald one! Look! <laughs> Three. Niblet, you are never going to guess what. I've found another one. Uh, nuts! What are you doing, mate? I'm just finding you more con because it's amazing, right? Every time I turn around, some more just magically appear over there. <laughs> nuts. They don't just magically appear. Hey? Someone keeps putting them there. But who keeps leaving conkers lying around? <gasps> Is it the nut fairy? Oh, I've always wanted to meet the nut fairy. There is no nut fairy! I'm going for a lie down. Hey, but Nibbler, who keeps leaving conkers lying around if it's not the nut fairy? <gasps> I know, it's Father Christmas. I've always wanted to meet him too, but it's a bit early for Father Christmas, isn't it? I mean, Where's all his reindeer and his magic sleigh? And where's the snow? You know what? I don't think it's Father Christmas at all, Nibbler. But who keeps leaving conkers lying around? <gasps> Unless it's a giant conker eating robot! Hey, Nibbler, have you seen a giant conker eating robot round here? He's got to be round here somewhere. Ah, me hem the foot in the great wood. Just the way I like it. Ida March is the name, and madness is my game. Spring is my season, and the only one worth keeping. Now these children think they can save the day? Ha, not a chance, says I, if I have my way. I'll send them round and round about, until they're dizzy and start to pout. Then I shall prove, once and for all, that the flower dancer is the most powerful and cunning of all. <laughs> Aurora! Great, another sign. Aurora! Aurora, wait for me! Aurora! Another one? Aurora! Oh. Aurora! Oh, sorry. Oh, that's an idiot! Oh, that's a bit harsh. I wasn't talking to you. Yeah. What are you doing? Following you. I can see that. Yeah. I thought I'd lost you. Twice. How did you get so fast? Cross country? Oh, don't. Fridays. Cross country, I'm having flashbacks. I love Fridays at school. Oh, stop it. What, what are you doing? What? It's water. Water from a spring. What do you think they put into fancy plastic bottles? 
Oh, right, yeah, of course, I, I, I knew that. Mum didn't get that Fridays were my favourite day. She just thought I was skiving. But they were the hardest to give up. But strikes were always on a Friday. School strike for climate change. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're not allowed. <laughs> Neither was I, but adults are rubbish. Uh, not all adults are rubbish. Uh, yes, they are. And I think, snow dancer or not, adults... Global warming, it's all on them, because they did a whole lot of talking and a whole lot of thinking and not very much doing. And so they chucked me out of school, and then Mum chucked me out too. M my nan gets it. She was a bit political when she was young, I think. So, you're living here, in the woods. That's mental. I, I told my nan I'm staying with a friend, because I don't want her to worry. It's a bit much to ask for her to keep looking out for me all the time. She sees me right with food and cash and that, so don't go feeling sorry for me or anything. Oh, 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 I won't. See that you don't. Um, look, another sign. Look, it's the same one. Look, there's my tent. Oh. Did you know there are parts of this woodland descended from the ancient forests of the last ice age? <gasps> ice age! <laughs> I love those films. Is, is the wood really that old? So they say. It was meant to last till the next I say. I've been doing a sequel! Oh, that would be amazing! Although sometimes five sequels could be too many, but I mean, if Star Wars can do it. But, I mean, they've done like nine parts now, but who can get bored of them? <laughs> <laughs> you meant the real I said. Didn't, right. yeah. The world isn't. It's warming, not cooling. And the seasons just aren't changing as they should. Do you think there's something a bit weird about this? Tree? It just looks really strange. Embrace the power of the season's change. The shortest path is forget-me-not glade. Time for change and pastures new. The bringing of snow is waiting for you. So, snap out of it! Whoa, whoa, whatever it is, I didn't do it! What was all that about? You're like, possessed or something? Well, no, that's what happened to you. No. Oh, do you ever get the feeling that someone's watching us? <coughs> oh, oh, look! She's so cute! That's the biggest rabbit I've ever seen! Oh, she must live here. But since when do rabbits live in trees? Mind you, since when do dogs speak French? Uh, so, I think she's trying to, to show us something. Dance away your worries and a festive hair down with your hostess with the mostest, Ida March. Oh, follow the lights. <laughs> Ooh, spooky! Follow the lights! <laughs> well, now all we need is some lights to follow. So, you want us to follow these lights? Uh, That's what you want us to do. Uh, follow the lights? Uh, really? Okay. Here I go. Uh, uh, Aurora! Don't leave me in this spooky hollow with that creepy bunny! Aurora! Aurora, wait for me! Oh! Oh! My paws may never be the same! We've been walking for days! I'm going to need a complete pedicure and a facial as soon as I get home. And I am beginning to regret giving a magic voice to every woodland creature. How impertinent! Didn't anyone tell you that it's rude to stare at a lady? You have gained all the worst attributes of an indoor creature, sun dancer. I'm pretty sure that insulting a princess to her face is first on the list of things that a gentleman should not do, leaf dancer. You have the human protection. You have warmth and food you are never without. Others are not so fortunate. If the rains don't fall or the waters rise, it has meant very little difference to you from the comfort of your bed. But here, when the seasons do not change, it is the end. The end of what? Everything. And the humans are fragile. 
They'll even struggle to keep your cozy bed warm. Oh, I don't think I like you very much. And that will make very little difference in the grand scheme of things. Your human smells of pink flowers. And I don't think you should tell him that either. I speak only the truth. Ah, yes, but a truth that could be far too much information for a boy cub like this one. Especially in the company of a she cub. They're at an uncertain age, <laughs> you know. Humans are always at an uncertain age, <laughs> which is why the spirit of the season should never have been given to a human. Oh, but of course, who would give? <laughs> who would, in our family, would give the dance to a human? It has already been done by the snow dancer. Oh, mon dieu. Quel imbécile! He gave the dance of the snow to a human? We should not judge him too harshly, Mirabelle. What is done is done. But now, only a human can plead on our behalf. And they are our only hope. Oh, then we are, how do you say, uh, up the creek without a saddle. We should go to them. Look! The lights! <laughs> there is a lot more magic than ours in the great wood tonight. They will need our help many times before the night is through. These lights remind me of a, another night so long ago I, I'd almost forgotten. Mirabelle, I have never forgotten. Do you ever think of what might have been If the month of September had not come between us You in your bright summer dress and you in your autumn coat, muddy and messy. I loaned you a warm crimson shawl. And you wrapped it around you and let your hair fall. But the shawl smelled of dampness and mirth. As we danced for a day in the equinox walls. You savoured the sun and blue sky And you relished the rain and I've never known why You smiled at the warm gentle breeze And you counted the leaves as they fell from the trees But you'd blush whenever we'd meet <laughs> 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 Me in my boots and you in bare feet. But you turned and the moment was lost. As we danced for, for a day in the equinox was. So here we are counting the cost and remembering the day of the equinox was <gasps> Blech. It's hard to know which one I detest more. The sun dancer who's always showing off how much more beautiful and better at everything she was than me. Or the leaf dancer, who used his last power to trap me here in this tree. Poor little old me. And all because I gave the snow dancer, the real snow dancer, a challenge he couldn't refuse. All I said was, he should be the one to defy our father and give his power to a human. And the ice-brained moron fell right into my trap. And they say I'm just a pretty face. Oh, I even lured this pea-brained human to his doom. A few short steps, not ten or more, and she'll find herself here at my front door. I've set this lantern to mark the spot. We can have a good chat about who and what? And my shorts and sun cream, I shall pack my case when a brand new dancer 
shall take my place. All the moaning and groaning he does. And, and he thinks he's had it tough. He's not, he's not been the one who's been trapped in this tree for 50 years. When really, the humans should love spring the most and want it all year round. But they always loved the snow dancer the best, with all that schmaltzy Christmas glitter and glitz. Yuck! Ugh, it's enough to make me sick. All the ribbons and bows and presents sat waiting. The, the penguins in scarves and the polar bears skating. The puddings and nuts and stockings. Bah humbug. The, the stars and the tinsel. Excuse me while I throw up. <coughs> Bad luck, snow dancer. I'll scupper your plans. These trusting forest younglings are like putty in my hands. Come, adventurers, come to the hair down. Dance till you're desperate to just lie yourself down. You'll fall to the ground in a slumber so deep. No man or woman shall wake you from your cursed sleep. What? <laughs> What's with the music, Aurora? I, I, I can't help it. I feel like I just want to... Dance! Whistle them bushes in, chop those trees, clap those hands, slap them knees, whistle those muscles in, clap them feet, won't be long till you're fast asleep. Dark the forest in, high the branches, swoop to the land of a thousand dancers, round and round like nuts and beans, deeper down on a plate of dreams. It's high to the matches, hold on time, hands on hips and stand in line, spin that circle, set that square, beware of either the march hare. Bright lights, bright lights, bright lights, bright lights. They just appeared out of nowhere, like somebody flipped a switch. <gasps> oh, Moira, you don't think these lights could be a work of a willow the wind? Oh, surely not. But who would pull such a harebrained scheme like that in our great wood? <gasps> Unless it was her. Oh, no. Not her! Up to her old chicks again! Giving us rabbits a bad name. Mm. You know what they say, Moira. Beware the Ida March. Beware, Beware the, the Ida, Ida March. March! Or it could just be the deer getting excited and putting their Christmas decorations up early. Oh. Would you like another cup of tea? Oh, I darn't, Moira. I'll be up all night. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Oh, go on then. Just a small one. Fantastic. I'll get the kettle on. I thought for a moment there was a promise of snow on the wind, but it must have just been wishful thinking. What was it my old mother used to say? When the sky falls, we'll catch larks. No, not that. Oh, never bolt a door with a boiled carrot. Oh, no, not that either. A turkey never voted for an early Christmas. Oh, <laughs> quite right, quite right. But no, not that either. Ah, I know. <gasps> you never miss the water until the well has run dry. Quite right, that's it. And I'm beginning to think the snow may never come. You can call me Hoagie, my friends call Boo. Two mean babbles just passing through. Following a feeling, nil by mouth. We come from the north, but we're heading south. We're searching for snow, we're searching for snow. There's nine in the north, so it's the south we must go. We're searching for snow, 
We're searching for snow. Something smells fishy, but what do we know? What's with the humans lying on the ground, Boo? Have they fallen out of a giant picnic basket? I don't know, the singing must be waking them up. I wonder what they taste like. Shall I have a bite? No, how many times I gotta tell you, Ogie, this English junk food will have you running for the bushes Boo. all the way to Antarctica. Sorry, Boo. We got bigger seals to fry, Ogie. Mm. Remember, we're trying to beat the pole to pole expedition record of that pretentious know-it-all French-Canadian husky to lose La Treca. Let's get the pack out of here. We're searching for snow, we're searching for snow. There's none in the north, so it's the south we must go. We're searching for snow, we're searching for snow. Something smells. What time is it? So, so wake up. Ah. Oh. It happened. Dancing. I don't dance. It was a distraction, I'm sure. Oh. Now we're back to where we started. Again. So maybe, maybe you were right. Maybe we are in the right place at the right time. Oh. <gasps> Look. Oh. Huh. I meant the snow dancer. <laughs> hey, ring for the snow dancer. We did it. <laughs> ring. All right then. Why not? Whoa. 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 <laughs> well, there's no way you can pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> Aurora. Aurora, what are you doing? Get out of the light. Has she never seen the X Files before? Oh, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> Greetings, adventurers, and welcome be. You have found my home, yet not found me. I've packed my toothbrush and pyjamas, as I'll be spending Christmas in the Bahamas. If you really have to, you can leave me a message after the noise. Christmas in the Bahamas? You have to absolutely be joking me! Oh, so now what? No snow dancer, no aurora. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, no signal. What can this day even get any worse? Ah, uh, sitting down on the jug, gazing at the nibble. I should have known. Oh, it's you. The elegant discourse of the teenager, huh? Hello, Princess Mirabelle. Why do you look like a Christmas turkey who has just heard he's going for the chop? Because I am stuffed and I wouldn't even be in this mess if you hadn't been hiding from me and now I'm accidentally on a quest to save the world and it's not going very well. It's not even my quest. Well, the ill-mannered smarty pants with the bushy tail seems to think you will be the saviour of the wood. Me? Your perfectly pigtailed playfellow and you. What do I know about snow dancing? I'm the only person my age who can't. Ah, oh, but there is no need. Not if you have chewy sticks like me. They get into all the cracks and crevices behind my canines because, as you know, oral hygiene is so important. <laughs> Not that sort of floss. <laughs> Never mind. Mr. Pointy Nose says all our hopes are on you. And what about Christmas? How can you have Christmas without snow? Everyone has the, the memory of snow. The, Dream of snow, the romance of the thick flakes falling gently down on the Champs Elysees. If we fail, your grandchildren won't even know what snow is. But the king of the wood seems to think you may have the answer. Why me? Aurora, she knows stuff about the forest, but she's disappeared. Who knows where? And I'm like, I'm like a mick on a hoverboard round here. You cannot give up. Every single animal in the great wood is depending on you. And you never give up. I've seen you for hours and hours with your pen making squiggle after squiggle in some Egyptian dialect. It's not Egyptian. It's equations, science problems, maths. You can find an equation to explain pretty much anything in the universe. 
Well, then, there must be a squiggle to solve the puzzle of the forest. But Aurora said it needed magic, and I'm, I'm the least likely person to have magic. It's hardly scientific. But magic is not always the best pass. Once, long ago, I was the sun dancer. You were the who? I had the power to dance in the hot, dry summer. But I was selfish and did not care for the other seasons, only my own. And when the humans no longer believed in our powers, I gave up my spirit life and took on the form you see now. I was no longer special. Oh, you're special to mum and dad. And Serena. And me. Well, it's impossible to believe that you are special in any way. Thanks. But Mr. Scarlet Triangle Ears seems to think there is something about you. So, I don't know, maybe some of the superior intellect of the Royal House of Champignon has rubbed off on you after all. Come, there is little time. Oh, oh, Mirabel! I, I don't know what it is you want me to do! Mirabel, come back! Oh, Brother Snow! Why are you hiding behind those trees, pretending that you're not home? Oh, I'm not hiding. Yes, you are. Keep your twitchy nose out of it, big ears. Who I am waiting for and why is none of your concern? Humans, and they'd be fast asleep if it weren't for those pesky polar bears. Well, you can keep your Mad March mitts off my human for a start. I've got big plans for her and I've had enough of your family meddling in my life. And who brought polar bears? Was that, was that you? No, my dear Snow Brother, that was you. Me? Not likely. Such is the far-reaching greatness of your power. Is it? And yet, to be so utterly undervalued by humankind... Oh, this, this is what I've been saying. As they coat their houses in fake snow spray. Oh, ridiculous! Snow? Well, proper snow back in my day. Collapse under the weight of their sparkles and glitter instead of quaking in their boots at the king of winter. Too right! But their minds have been addled by the Christmas beast and the Christmas booze and the leftovers feast. Wearing jumpers sporting Rudolph or some ice skating alpacas and all the mystery pointless things that fall out of their crackers. Don't you think it's about time you... Show them all your might. By bringing on the winter. No, by hiding it out of sight. Because why not make staycation your new vacation? Sit on your backside and you'll stun the nation. Because if winter isn't late, but never comes, soon, all year round, you'll be basking in the sun. A pinch of Puerto Rico at your own front door. If you heed my advice and leave them wanting more. Can the crazy old bunny be right? <laughs> Make a tropical island here if I do it right. <laughs> so, so, I was trapped in this tree and I've only just managed to get out. Christmas in the Bahamas, of all the selfish, inconsiderate adult things to do, this really takes the biscuit. That's a bit harsh! You haven't even met me yet. You, you're the snow dancer. The one and only! All I want's an holiday. Uh, so do lots of people, but tough. Why don't you just get on with the job you're meant to do? Do 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 do, shan't. But, but it's your job. Why should I? We know who really cares whether it snows. Well, I care for one. But you are just one. What of the millions of others? You know, I'm beginning to think bonkers bunny ears were right. Humans don't care about winter. Not unless they get to spend themselves silly at Christmas. But Christmas is more than just about stuff. It's about love and kindness and always looking after each other and and 
always remembering that somewhere in the world there are folk who are worse off than you, which is what you should be thinking now. How can they be when I'm the one who's always left out in the cold and if you are such an insufferable know-it-all, why don't you do it? I'll hand over this coat right now and you'll see what it means to be the snow dancer. Fine. I will do it. But I don't need your stupid coat or your stupid magic. We've known for years what needs to be done, just no one's got on with doing it. All right then, smarty pants. What's your big idea? We, we get rid of the plastic that's choking the planet. Hmm? We plant thousands of trees so we can all breathe. We stop burning fossil fuels and have every home powered by their own renewables. And you could do this? You? <laughs> a human child? You a news army! <laughs> now here's an idea I like quite a lot. I'll give you till morning. I'll give you a shot. I'll make you a bet. And if, by some chance, you can do all you're saying, then indeed, I shall dance. But if you should fail to bring on the weather, then you take this coat of the snow dancer forever. All right, whatever. I will do it. I'll show you all. So, what have you been doing? Oh, you know, just getting a quick pizza or delivery and getting to level 27 on. I'm a science genius, get me out of here. Right, this is no time for larking about. He was here. The snow dancer was here. Here? What, what was he like? Annoying and feeling sorry for himself. He wants a holiday. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah, so I made him a deal. Let's just say I sacked him. I told him we'll just get on with it and fix it ourselves. Us? Who else is there? We know what to do. No plastic, plant trees, invest in renewables. Right then, <laughs> simple as that. Yeah, but he did say we have to get it done by morning or, or it's just no good. So where are we suddenly gonna find a thousand trees to plant? And how, how can, we, can we plant them by morning? We can't just get electricity out of nowhere. You know, why am I even trying to make it snow? Because even if, even if we can do all this stuff, then what, you go back to your nice warm house. And what about me? I've got a tent in the middle of nowhere to freeze in, or I've got to try and find a bed at a shelter. Look, we have to make it snow for them, for everyone. But what if we can make them cool and keep you warm? That's the balance. <laughs> Mirabelle was right. It's not magic, it's science. <gasps> and I've just had an absolute belter of an idea. <gasps> You've heard of eco bricks, right? Right. You take a plastic bottle and you pack it with a whole lot of other plastic. But isn't that just moving rubbish from one place to another? I mean, no. First you're protecting the environment, the plastic can't escape. And then you do something useful with it. Like what? Oh, oh, you pack it until it's rock solid. 330 grams for every litre bottle can support the weight of a human. And then you can use it to build. Build what? Something really good. But, Sol, you're talking thousands of plastic bottles. Brilliant! That takes care of every scrap of plastic in the forest and it's brilliant insulation. But you might still need heat and hot water. <laughs> well, you'll definitely need a shower. You will. Oh, I saw this thing on YouTube, how you get heat from the ground. It's called a ground source heat pump. What are you You need one of those. About? All you need is a trench about 600 metres long and a really, really long bit of pipe. Really? Now, the pump is a bit trickier, Wait. but I saw this amazing thing they're doing in Africa. It's called a spiral pump. You'll need one of those. You've got a moving water source, right? Right. Oh, done deal then. No brainer. So what are you going on about? Doing everything on your list and building a house. No one needs a house. Everyone's got perfect dens and burrows to sleep in. They just need it cold enough for them to sleep in them. Everyone has a house, except you. Me? You want to <coughs> build me a house? I mean, why, why not? I, I get to prove that science can do anything. <laughs> What's not to love about that? Next, trees. Now, where are we gonna plant a thousand trees overnight? Someone's bound to notice. Are you joking? We're in the middle of a wood. Where better to hide a thousand trees than in the middle of a wood? And over the edge too, on the hill. Till Burnham Wood come to hide on Sunane and all that. I beg your pardon. Shakespeare, magic, moving trees. What? The Scottish play? Oh. We did it in drama. Oh, genius! Absolute genius! All right, Mad Professor, but even if you can do all you say you can, 
There's no way you and I can get this whole list done tonight. You are right, Mademoiselle Aurora. All we need to do is ask for a little help. We need more than a little help. Exactly we need an army. Exactly so. And if I'm right, the help we need are listening right behind us, listening to every word we've just said. My friends, I have a dream that one day every beast and bird of the world shall be treated as equal and be entitled without question to an equal and safe place in the world. Tonight, my friends, we can create that new world here in the Great Wood, our home. No danger is too great when we help each other. No change is unstoppable when we are united in our resolve. First, you rabbit diggers! Prepare a thousand holes for the new seedlings. You collectors, birds of the sky and mice with the keenest sight. Bring back every piece of human plastic that lingers unwanted in our world. I will go to the human scrap world and bring back the pipe that they need. I speak for the humans. They may be strangers here, but they have taken your burdens as their own. I, Princess Mirabel of the Royal House of Champignon, stand by them, and I urge every one of you to do the same. Rustle them bushes and plant those trees, clap those hands, clap them knees, rustle those muscles and tap them toes, won't belong to the forest crows. Summer, winter, autumn, spring, let's see what the seasons bring. Rain or sunshine, we don't care, we're not scared of the Mad March Hare. Oh, so it's hopeless, we never get this finished on time. Yeah, we just, Everyone's exhausted! We need to keep everyone motivated! People of the world! I thought you alive! Every boy and every girl! I thought you alive! Put your backs into it! or I'll boil you with your own Christmas pudding and bury you with a stake of holly through your heart. Was that strictly necessary, Scary? What? They're working faster, aren't they, Sporty? Come on! Motivation. Tick. Well, ish. I don't even know if we've got enough seeds. I'm sure we'll find some somewhere. Conkers, anyone? Um, got any more of those conkers, Nibbler? Yeah, millions. I collect them. Oh. Seeds, check. Ah, now I just need to find the rest of the plastic bottles. I don't suppose you've seen 3,000 plastic bottles stashed around here somewhere? <laughs> don't be a dingo. I don't collect plastic bottles. Nuts does though. He's into the drags an absolute tip. How many do you need? A um, couple of thousand. Consider it done. I'll just tell him it'll make more room for his Lego collection. Back in a jiffy. Brilliant. They just love it when a plan comes together. Rustle them bushes and plant those trees, clap those hands and slap them knees, rustle those muscles and tap them toes, won't belong to the forest grows. Summer, winter, autumn, spring, let's see what the seasons bring. Rain or sunshine, we don't care, we're not scared of the Mad March Hare. It's all in auroras, hold on time, hands on hips and stand in line, clap those hands, heel and toe, let's go and slide through the deep snow. We've done it! So it's unbelievable. <laughs> We've done it, Mirabelle. <laughs> Have we done it? Now what? Please say we've done it. Red, what is it? What can you hear? Ooh, nothing but the warm wind rustling the tops of the trees as it might do on a beautiful late summer day. But we did everything he asked. But alas, it seems you have failed. For centuries, we relied on the dance of the snow to turn the seasons once more, but I see no snow dancer here. But that's not our fault. He made me a bet. He, he made a promise and now he's broken it. 
He's supposed to be the grown-up. So unfair. The world can sometimes be unfair, my dear. Yeah, well, the world can go and stuff it. No, I'm not having it end like this. We have to make it work. We have to. But sometimes, child, we need science and a little magic. The magic that is within us all. Within us all? Eureka! It might sound crazy, but the point is this. Maybe there's one thing we didn't do. Dance! Dance? I, I told you I, I don't dance. Oh, neither do I, but what if all this time we've been waiting for the snow dancer to do his thing and make it right, when all this time he needed us to dance? It's not gonna happen. I can't, I couldn't dance if the world depended on it. Yeah, well, what if the world does depend on it? Come on, I will if you will. Fine. I will if you close your eyes. No, that'll probably just make it worse and I'll probably end up falling over something and breaking my neck. Together then? Listen. The children are snow dancing in the pale winter light Hoping that their dirty streets will soon be wrapped in white. Then they'll roll it, throw and go sliding from morning till night. And nothing else will matter but the snow, 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 snow dancing, snow dancing. Winter, won't you weave your spell on the world? But the sky is wet and weary. weary. Still they dance and they dream. And don't see do like Eskimos. It moves like Jagger and Jean. As autumn. Waits for winter. winter. It washes the skies cold and clean. But what good is winter without snow, 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 snow dancing, snow dancing, snow dancing. Winter, won't you weave your spell on the world? Hey, so. I'm going to make a giant concrete-eating robot out of snow. Do you want to join? Yes. So come with me, snow dancing, until it lies deep, old and cold and not so bold as once we used to be. There's time for risks and chancing. Until we must sleep So wrap your arms around me In the snow, snow, snow Snow dancing Snow dancing Snow dancing Winter, won't you weave your spell on the world? Ha <laughs> ha! You have a great spirit, human child. You have changed the forest beyond recognition. I had a lot of help. Aye, and all it took was a little snow. You! You did this. I thought you said you were going to give up. Well, all this got me thinking. Too much thinking and not enough doing. That's what you said. And I realised that even if I packed my case and headed for the sun, I'd still be there with too much time to think. And you would have been trapped as the snow dancer on your own, are you? You know what you need to do? You need to make me your trusty assistant. And that way you'll always have someone for backup, you know? And so will I. So be it, Aurora the Tents. So be it. Dancing. Snow dancing. Snow dancing. Winter, won't, won't you weave your spell on the world?
<laughs> did we? Did we do it? <laughs> really? Snow? Clean as a new pin, my mum would say. We're superheroes, you and me. We're the stuff of legend. We're unstoppable. <laughs> we had a lot of help oh, in the no end. Oh, no way we are taking full credit for this. It was the dancing. No, neither of us are getting any glitter balls for our dancing. Oh, I am for sure. Look. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> We did good, Aurora. We did. It's quiet, isn't it? Are they all asleep? <sighs> At last. Uh, I should be going. I've got to get back before they miss me. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> At least you've not got far to go. <laughs> Thank you, Sol, for this. I owe you. Well, you know, uh, just bring me something for Christmas. <laughs> as amazing as Aurora's eco mansion is, I reckon you'll struggle to cook a before Christmas dinner. I only live over the field. I'll just tell my mum you're coming. Oh, thanks, so. Um, I was actually thinking of having a stab at going home for Christmas. Home, home. Hmm. I've just been trying to do everything on my own and, I don't know, sometimes... You just need a team. I'm thinking now my mum was just trying to help, really. But maybe I, I could call into yours some other day? Really? <coughs> I mean, if you like. Well, <laughs> that's that then. All's well that ends well. Shakespeare? <laughs> I knew you'd like that. <laughs> I think there's only one thing stopping us from taking over the entire planet. Oh, what's that? I think we're snowed in. Well, do we know anyone who's any good at digging? Red! Miracle! It's snow time! <laughs> Forget she cares, ignore your worries. The promised us land falls and glories. Instead, the world outside you hardly know. The night air smacks a fearsome bite Roads and roofs are wrapped in white It's quite a sight The whole world's wrapped in snow We're snowed in We are snowed in It's halfway up the door and getting higher We're snowed in We are snowed in so put another log upon that fire It's snowed all night and it's not stopping, stopping. It's just as well we did go shopping Food and drink, enough to last a week <laughs> The kids come home all cold and sad From a day of snowballs and toboggans Won't be long before they're fast asleep we're snowed in. We are. We're snowed in. It's halfway up the door and getting higher. We're snowed in. Yes, we are. We're snowed in. So put another log upon that fire. So if you don't mind the drips and flows. Remember where they put the roads. Ease your load and, and take, take some, some time to join us. We'll be here. You know where. Wrap up warm. But not with real fur. Good time to share if you just care to join us. We're snowed, we're snowed in. in. We are we're snowed, snowed in. in. It's halfway up the door and getting higher. We're snowed in. We are snowed in. So put another log upon that fire. 